Quest here at BK Breeze, BK Racing. Today we're going to unbox a Traxxas X Max in the uh, controller. Just so you can see, again, you know, we're known for all the uh, Mustang stuff, the uh, late model Challenger, Camaro, and pretty much anything you need parts wise. But we are carrying these new Traxxas vehicles and uh, just makes sense to have a shop car so that we can work on them, play with them, and uh, take them out and have a little bit of fun and show you what they're all about. First thing we're going to open is the controller. Now this Traxxas X-Max is an 8S, which means it takes two 4S batteries. So if we open the box here, we're going to get two of the 4S batteries, 6700. And then you're also going to get a controller. Uh, this is a dual, or a charger, I'm sorry. This is a dual charger, so it'll handle uh, both batteries at one time. Makes it a little bit easier for you pop this open. So again, when you open it up, you'll see it's dual sided with two ports. So you're going to be able to charge both of these batteries at the same time. They actually charge pretty quick, probably what, 20 minutes, I would say, uh, after you're done playing with your vehicle that you can put these back in. I'm just going to set them off to the side here. Now comes the big boy. This is the X-Max. This is pretty much the nicest truck that they offer. Comes with all the upgrades. Uh, it's available currently in uh, several different colors. You've got rock and roll, which this one is, green, orange, and red. Uh, you don't pay attention to the box. On the side of the box, when you're looking at these, it actually dictates the sticker, tells you what color is inside the box on these. I've already went ahead and cut it just to make it a little uh, faster for you. Now the biggest thing people underestimate on these X-Max is the sheer size of the vehicle itself. These things are massive. Kind of like me. I'm a, I'm a massive individual. <laughs> Set the box off to the side. Now inside the box you're also going to get the uh, controller that comes for it. If you download the app from the Traxxas website, you actually can see a lot of top speed and a lot of the stuff that the vehicle's doing, but this will sync up with your phone. It's really cool. It's got stability control on it. Uh, you can change your steering trim, so it's a great controller. And you're kind of getting an idea of the size of the truck. You also get some uh, extra parts that they put in. You can change your gear ratios and some different things depending on the speeds that you like to run at with the vehicle. Uh, some decals and things. We'll set those off to the side. We're going to release the body on this because this plastic is going to be uh, underneath the body there. Turn that, lift it up, body will slide right off. This will give you an idea of the sheer size of this uh, of this truck. Again, I'm 5'11", 350, I'm a big boy. These tires, this whole thing is just a massive, massive truck. If you look at the shocks on this thing, I mean, compared to a hand span, hand span, I mean, they're just massive. Comes with wheelie bar standard. They put these on to kind of keep the suspension compressed down in transit so it fits in the box properly. Now you can see the uh, suspension uncompressed. Gives you an idea of the movement of this thing. The suspension is massive. I mean, people jump these things. I've seen them as high as four stories. It's got a great suspension on it. We're going to have to charge up the batteries on this thing for you. But again, wanted to show you, give you an idea of the size of this thing and uh, how it looks. 
and we'll do some videos and show you a little gameplay on it. Again, anything you need for your uh, Traxxas vehicles, you can get here at Beefcake Racing, and we've got our store in Bethel, Ohio. If you want to come out and check it out, we go out uh, sometimes during the day and play with them at lunch, during the cruise ins and things like that. So anything you need for your late model Mustang, Hemi, Camaro, F-150, doesn't matter. If you want to come out and play with some toys, we can do that too. Again, BeefcakeRacing.com. With all the power this thing has, comes equipped with uh, wheelie bars so that you're not going to have too many issues with just flipping it, running it down the road. One of the other nice things on the more updated models, the newer ones, the older models had just a screw here. And after, you know, so many flips and things, they would actually pull through the body. So guys were buying washers and sticking them in on it. But what you'll notice, they've updated with these plastic pieces that hold the body more. It, it, it evenly disperses some of the uh, weight out and all the uh, pulling power on the body so they don't tend to break out as many uh, times as they used to so you've got four on the back and you've got a or four on the front two on the rear along with the uh, main piece that holds it so that's kind of nice as well so we're going to insert the batteries now got two 4s batteries just pop that right out pretty simple uh, there's a soft side on the back so we're going to uh, feed the cord through so that it's out of the way. A lot of pressure on Phil here to get it in there with his uh, model hands. Then you just lock it down, plug it in. It's like a USB cord, three dimensional. All right, and now the other side. Lock it in. When you go to start it the first time, you turn the controller on. You wanna make sure you got a steady green light. If you don't have a steady green light, then that means it's not gonna pair up. So we're gonna go over here Turn the power button on. We should get a steady green light. We'll go ahead and try turning the uh, controller. All right, we're good to go. So we're gonna take it out for its first test drive. For comparison, this Mustang is a one-tenth scale of a real Mustang. So that gives you a pretty good idea how big this truck really is. All right, guys, we're gonna take it outside here and take it for its first test drive. Hopefully we've spent a lot of time flipping with our other ones on the parking lot. Hopefully the uh, wheelie bars help out with that. Oh yeah. Wheelie bars are where it's at. You really see them tires ballooning up. Let's go over and try a little jump with it. Again, the sheer size of this truck, it, it's hard to tell in the video, it really doesn't, it doesn't do as much. We got our little pre-built uh, ramp here. 